Williams, who has starred in numerous films over some two or three decades, uh, will be shocked to hear this news. But uh, Marin County uh, Sheriff there reporting the news that at approximately 11.55 a.m., we understand now, this information just coming to us on August the 11th, that a 911 telephone call was uh, received and that a man had been located unconscious and not breathing inside a residence in the uh, area. And we understand from the Marin County that that was the first indication they got of the 911 call. And then further, subject to that, the information coming through that uh, Robin Williams was pronounced deceased at 12.02 on the 11th of August. That was yesterday. I think we um, also understand that a statement is coming to us, and I think we've got the latest uh, from Washington with uh, our correspondent, Regini Vaidhanathan. Regini, just bring us up to date. I know we're just reacting to this breaking news. That's right, Babita. It is breaking news, and we've just got the, the statement here from Marin County. Um, I'll just read uh, from it uh, as we have it. It says that on the 11th of August 2014, at approximately 11.55 a.m., Marin County uh, Communications received a 911 telephone call, so an emergency call, reporting that a male adult had been located unconscious and not breathing inside his residence in unincorporated Tiburon in California. Now, the statement goes on to say the sheriff's office, as well as the fire department and the fire protection district, as this statement says, went to the incident with emergency personnel. They arrived on scene five minutes later and uh, the male subject, this statement reads, was pronounced dead a few minutes later and he's been identified as Robin McLaurin Williams, a 63-year-old resident of Tiburon, California. So there is the official news that uh, the actor Robin Williams was pronounced dead earlier. Um, it then goes on to say, Babita, that an investigation into the cause, manner and circumstances into his death is currently underway by the coroner's division of the sheriff's office. Um, we do have some more information, so I will continue. It says preliminary information developed during the investigation indicate that he was last seen alive at his residence uh, where he lives with his wife uh, at around 10 p.m. on August the 10th. Uh, and it said that he was found located this morning shortly before the 911 call was placed to Marin County Communications. And, Regini, uh, shocking news, of course, that uh, we are reacting to in the last few minutes or so. Uh, no doubt tributes are going to be pouring in from this extremely popular man that has sustained an extremely successful career for decades in Hollywood. That's right, Babita. I should just say, actually, I'm just uh, reading this as it comes to me. Uh, the Sheriff's Office does continue to say they suspect the death to be a suicide uh, due to asphyxia. Um, but a comprehensive investigation will be completed before a final determination is made. And uh, it says that on August the 12th, a forensic examination is currently scheduled with subsequent toxicology testing to be conducted. So just to summarise to people who are just tuning in, we've had confirmation from the Marin County office that the actor Robin Williams was found dead earlier today after a 911 call was made to the emergency department there and initial uh, investigations indicate that it was a suicide. Uh, Regini, um, I just wonder if you can confirm this for us from the statement that you're reading from that um, there was a call that was received to residents in, in the county uh, that we're hearing from at uh, around about 11.59 and then emergency services, from what we understand, responded to the 